What is up humans of the cardboard? Welcome back to Just Nuts guys. Today we've got a little bit of news revealed from the History Archive cards. Um, this is a set I believe for the OCG only at this point, but we'll get them imported somewhere maybe next year's Battles Legend or something like that. But uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this uh, real quick. So <clears throat> Starting off here, we have an Obelisk the Tormentor card. This is Soul Energy Max. As a normal trap card, two uh, hard ones per turn effects. And the first reg reads, if you control Obelisk the Tormentor, whose original attribute is divine, you can tribute two face-up monsters, except for that Obelisk the Tormentor, to destroy as many monsters your opponent control currently controls as possible. And if you do, inflict 4,000 damage to them. Honestly, not terrible. I mean, obviously, you do need to set up Obelisk plus two other monsters. You don't mind tributing, but all things considered, I don't think that's terrible. By the way, this little clause right here, whose original attribute is divine, makes it so you can't just use a card to copy Obelisk's name on field and then uh, and then end up using it. It still has to be a divine monster, so it does make you actually have to play the regular Obelisk. Secondly, during the main or battle phase, you can banish this card from your graveyard to add one obelisk the tormentor from your deck or graveyard to your hand then immediately after this effect resolves you can normal summon one obelisk the tormentor face up pretty cool honestly all things considered this card is um pretty good i mean for an obelisk deck obviously it, it probably doesn't have much meta relevancy but i do think overall um for what that deck is i think this is pretty cool the artwork obviously has the slimes in it which is awesome i love that very cool all right, moving on, we have some other we have blue eyes, alternative white dragon, very cool. Um, evolution result burst. Okay, you can only, is a normal spell, you can only activate once per turn. So this is our cyber dragon card here. You cannot special summon monsters for the rest of the turn after this card resolves, except with spell effects. Also, add one overload fusion from your deck to your hand. Also, the maximum number of attacks per battle phase this turn of any monster you fusion summon using six or more materials with overload fusion this turn is equal to the number of materials used for its summon. Whoa, that is great. Okay, so theoretically, if you could banish six cards to... You could banish six cards to fusion summon using overload fusion and if you do you're going to just probably otk your opponent interesting a uh, long story short this is a card that just searches overload fusion um although you can't really sequence this interestingly uh you ha it always has to be like the last card you're using um that as far as making sure you're not you're not summoning anything else or planning to just because uh you are going to lock yourself out of only being able to summon with spell effects and that way you can still resolve the overload to searcher i mean it's it's definitely an anime card for sure a super clutch anime card but it also doesn't even have cyber in the name so i don't believe it's even searchable by core which is kind of lame but whatevs no big deal there moving on here we have the great soul this seems like the resonator or whatever the uh red dragon arch fiend deck played by jack atlas here we go normal trap the great soul two hard ones return effects the first one reads if a dragon synchro monster is on the field special summon up to two resonator monsters and or one and or oh sorry two resonator monsters and or level one dragon monsters from the deck Ooh, any level one dragons i mean that could just be what uh brotar and then brotar could get to a search that's kind of cool um and the second effect when a monster effect is activated if you control a level 10 or higher dark dragon synchro monster you can banish this card from your graveyard negate that effect and if you do one synchro monster you control gains 2000 attack until the end of the next turn that's actually not terrible <laughs> i mean like you just get this in grave and it's just a monster negate and that's that's pretty useful um it's a trap so it's a little slow i don't think this is really a card that's going to make uh this too meta relevant either but it's still cool for them um it, it just says summon two resonators and or level one dragons straight from the deck i like it that's generic level one dragons that actually could have like a little a nice little pool of decent cards i don't know off the top of my head but i know there are definitely some there which is interesting and then obviously the negate effect in grave is pretty cool um there so yeah 
Moving on here, we move to Dragon King's Legend. Okay. This is a quick play card. Oh, is this Galaxy? I think this might be a Galaxy Eyes card. Um, this is a quick play spell. You can only use one of the two effects uh, per turn and only once per turn. So you got to pick one of the two and can't use both in the same turn. The first word reads, target one dragon monster you control. Double its current attack until the end of this turn. Then, if your opponent controls a dragon monster, the targeted monster's effect activations cannot be the gate of this turn i think it's fine i mean it's just a battle card right double the attack of a dragon you control whoop de do whatever second effect during your main phase you can banish this card from your graveyard to special summon in defense mission one of your dragon exceed monsters that is banished or in grave that's a little bit more useful but again this card doesn't seem to have like galaxy eyes or photon in the name so i don't believe it's going to be searchable and therefore probably not going to be worth playing at the end of the day moving on into okay two more looks like we've got oh start out with this one this is our equip spell okay this is graceful song under a frosty moon all right uh, you can only use the first second effects once per turn the first effect reads special summon one level four or lower fairy spellcaster wing beast or beast warrior from your hand and if you do equip it with this card then you can return all dragon monsters on the field to the hand <laughs> oh my gosh i mean this is all one effect and if your opponent doesn't have an omni negate you would be able to resolve this in the face of like a dragon link board um Although they'd probably read this and be like, oh, can't let that resolve. But it baits in a gate, so that's not the worst thing in the world. You need to open with any fairy, spellcaster, winged beast, or beast warrior. And it pulls them on the field. So it is like just a, not even the worst extender in a good amount of decks. It's interesting for sure. And the second effect, during the end phase, if this card is in your graveyard because it was sent there while it was face up in the spell and trap zone this turn, you can add one polymerization spell, fusion spell, or fusion parasite from your deck to your hand. That's pretty cool. I mean, obviously right now, polymerization and fusion spells are like at an absolute premium in Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, we've got the new fusion for the Albaz stuff. We've always had, we've had Shadal fusion for a while. Um, super polymerization um red eyes fusion destiny fusion right like there's like there's like a lot of really crazy fusions you'd be able to add it is on end phase but like that still just gives you like a really good follow-up going into the next turn um which is pretty cool i actually think this card's probably the most interesting card of all of them as far as meta relevant stuff for sure <laughs> for sure i mean you could theoretically play this in like um uh Lyralisk Tri Brigade, right? Like it pulls a wing beast or a beast warrior out of the hand. So I could pull Lyralisk or potentially uh isn't Fractal. Fractal is the only beast warrior from them, but that's another target to be able to just pull out of the hand. Okay. Uh, I and get it, you're not probably using the bounce effect unless you're playing against specifically dragons, but that's I don't know. If we were in a format where dragons were like crazy, then this could be an interesting side deck card. And then you when you link off the monster it's equipped to, then on end phase you add a fusion destiny. And now your opponent knows you just have a fusion destiny coming and into them next turn, um, which is pretty powerful. Interesting card. That's the most interesting one we've seen so far, competitively speaking. Uh, and the last one we have here is Prisoners of Destiny. This is a continuous trap. You can only activate one card of this card's name per turn. The first effect reads, or the, I think it's the only effect. Once per chain. Ooh, okay. If a Link 4 monster is Link Summoned, you can place one car, a car uh, counter on this card. Then you can apply one of these effects depending on the number of counters on this card. After one counter, you can declare one card name and for the rest of the turn negate the activated effects and effects on the field of cards with that original name. Interesting. Second effect, special summon one level four lower monster from your graveyard. Also interesting, any level four lower monster. Nice, just call the haunted. And the third effect, um, send this card to the graveyard and if you do, special summon one link four monster from your extra deck. This one's an interesting one, but the problem is it's a trap. If it was a continuous spell, this might be something interesting. If you just played a deck that could like link spam like crazy, right? Um, you know, like summon a link four, activate this card and then call nib. That way you can't be nib for this turn or your opponents to fire it right then and there. And then if you can make another um, 
Link 4. Then you're summoning a monster back from Grave to help you climb into the third one, and that lets you just cheat out another Link 4. I don't know if it'll ever actually be worth, and the problem is you it, it says when a Link 4 monster is Link Summon, so even if you bring one back with a weird effect, it won't really do much for you. Um, but it, I don't know, it's fine, I guess. This card is just weird. Uh, very anime-esque. All of these are very anime-esque, obviously. That's the whole point of the pack uh, there. But pretty cool stuff, I mean, listen. I'm not particularly going to be going after these, but that doesn't mean you won't think they're really cool. If you have loved like some of the Egyptian God decks, like maybe this makes Ab the Obelisk one a little more interesting. Um, if you wanna play a more casual, fun version of Cyber Dragons, this card helps you with like crazy anime style OTKs. Um, this card is interesting, a little slow, but like still helps you set up um, your Red Dragon Archfiend deck plays, pretty cool. This one for like crazy dragon OTKs, and uh, this one for weird anti-dragon <laughs> decks that also like can get you access to fusion cards. And of course this card for weird uh, Link 4 spam decks that just go crazy and you can get like a bunch of effects off. Um, and then just, I don't know, do that stuff. I don't know, it's weird. It's a, it's a weird, there's a lot of weird cards here, but that's what I was kind of expecting from this. Maybe we'll get more stuff. I don't know, these aren't the most, um, the biggest anime moments. I mean, this is Cyber Dragon, not a main character deck. Obelisk was mostly played by Kaiba more than anybody during like a lot of uh, Battle City and stuff. I don't know exactly, but I know Kaiba had Obelisk for a, for a large portion of it. Um, like Jack Atlas, not the main character. Uh, Galaxy Eyes, not the main character. I don't even know who this card is, but I'm, may, I'm assuming it's not the main character. And this is like a rocket card almost, or at least that's what like the artwork is telling me because it looks like you have Boroload or I think it's Boroload there. Um, so kind of weird. Um, not a lot, not as much stuff from like main characters. Maybe that stuff's just coming down uh, the pipeline after this. We will have to wait and see. But that's going to do it for me here today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, let me know your thoughts down below if there's anything interesting or fun with, with some of these um, anime-style cards with the decks that are supposed to be played in or something about the anime because I haven't seen most of these series. Um, if I've seen them, I haven't seen them in a long time. So fill me in on that down below. But I'm going to get the hell out of here. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Peace.